Happy Wednesday, Mid-Missouri. Good morning. We are looking at a warmer day today. By this afternoon, we're in the upper 50s with plenty of sunshine along the way. We'll have some clouds out there throughout the morning. Those are some mid to high level clouds that will bring us partly cloudy skies. This cold front rolling through looks ominous, but it's not. It stalls overhead and just really leaves us somewhat of a divide from north to south. But the important thing to remember is with even with low 50s near Macon, it's well warmer than yesterday. And to the south with 60s, that's well well warmer than yesterday. Uh, we're looking at 60s near the Lake of the Ozarks, upper 50s near Columbia, and low 50s near Macon. This warm front lifts back to the north tomorrow. Your Thursday looking well warmer, starting in the 40s for a lot of us, 30s for some, again, to the north of that boundary. And we're looking at 60s by noon, upper 60s, though, by the afternoon, late afternoon. We're looking at upper 60s there. With more cloud cover late in the day, chances for some spotty showers in the evening will linger into early Friday morning, where we're looking at more rain, more clouds and rain, possibility Friday morning and this could limit our chance for severe weather Friday. Uh, that's what we're all hoping for at least. We're looking at cloud cover and rain, maybe some thunder, especially to the south of uh, Columbia towards Jefferson City and uh, Rolla. But once that moves on out of here, we're still pulling in more warmth at the low levels. That plus maybe some sunshine working together to bring us some instability at the low levels of the atmosphere. That is a little questionable as how much we'll see. But with this round of storms along the cold front. This is where we're going to have our severe potential there. And then anything that develops just out ahead of the cold front could have some severe potential as well. We're talking chances for tornadoes, wind and hail as well. All of it is on the table, really everything but flooding. Here's a look at that instability that comes through. You're seeing a lot of blues and greens here. Uh, notice how it kind of shrinks up there towards about three o'clock. This is on the low end of the spectrum as well. The low end of the spectrum means it's already kind of low uh, levels of instability, but it is at the surface, and that's the instability that could create things like tornadoes. And so what we're watching is to see, does this stick around? If this doesn't stick around, well, then we can kind of trim back the severe threat. Right now, it's a level three out of five from the Storm Prediction Center for everyone in orange, and that's just about everyone here in mid-Missouri, from Sedalia over to Quincy, uh, Sedalia to Columbia, Jefferson City, Rolla, Kirksville, all of us here in that severe risk, but it's important to know as ominous as this looks, it's still not 100%. It's something we're going to need to watch carefully. What this does tell you, what it should tell you, I should say, is that we need to start preparing for severe weather, understanding that it's possible and maybe even uh, likely that we'll see strong storms. Now, whether or not our risks are as high as they are here on today's uh, severe threat scale for Friday, but the one issued today, the one that we're talking about as of now with the information that we have, uh, this is what we're looking at. Our main concerns are going to be wind and tornadoes if that low-level instability materializes. If it doesn't, we can bring that down a little bit, um, but that's what we're tracking. Again, timing, Friday afternoon and evening. Hazards are all severe weather types, and the uncertainty is still there about the morning clouds and rain. Timing the front still technically an uncertainty, but it's becoming more certain. We're not so uncertain about that. It does look like it's going to arrive early enough in the morning there, or excuse me, around midday, uh, so much so that we could see that severe threat here at home. So bottom line, prepare for the chance for severe weather on Friday. Saturday and Sunday is looking dry, and we've got another active period next week.